So you want to create animation using AI, but installing stable diffusion and animate diff can be a bit, well, not for everyone's PCs. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you a few alternative AI tools to create animations without having to install all Python libraries or codes from GitHub into your PC. Watch until the end and you'll discover how to create this type of animation, whether you want to do it for fun or create a YouTube storytelling channel. This is a very convenient way to do so. Let's get started. The first animation tool I'm going to introduce is called Moon Valley AI, which is currently in beta. This means it's free to use right now. Just like Pika Labs, you need to sign in with Discord, join their Discord server, and you can start generating short animations with it. To do this, go to their website and click the Try the Beta green button. This will log you into their Discord server. Their showcases on the homepage look pretty impressive. It seems like you can do a lot with this tool. They offer anime, fantasy, and realism styles and cinematic styles appear to be performing well. Let's experiment with this tool. Once you're logged into the Discord server, go to one of the creation rooms, which they call Moon Creation. In my example, I generated animation videos through the chat box. You can also go back to your previously generated animations if you miss them. In my example, I generated a few animations using the same style to create a consistent character. Personally, I think this tool is better than Pika Labs in terms of the generated results. Plus, it allows for seed prompt to maintain a consistent character. So how do you use it? First, click on the chat box, select or type create, and the prompt box will appear. The prompt area is used for your text prompts, of course. You can also use a seed number. To do this, click on more then select seed. After that, you can click on duration and style to configure your animation. Let me change this text prompt and we can hit enter to run this. Now, you might wonder, where does the seed number come from? Well, it comes from the prompt ID of each generated result. Was the prompt ID of my first generated result for this animation story, and I instructed the AI to continue with this style for the new generated results. So here's an animation of a girl running on the street. Now let's do a comparison with Pika Labs. It appears that many people are creating children's story videos in Pika now, this tool focuses on image to video and only creates minor movements or adds depth to the background image. We want to test how well these tools perform when starting from scratch and creating something entirely new. So we test with text to video here. Let's use the same text prompt in Moon Valley's example and copy it to Pika Labs. Okay, here's the Pika Labs generated result and here's the moonvalley.ai result. Both are created using text to video. The second alternative is called Morph Studio, which uses a similar joining method. You'll need to go to their Discord and join their server. You can start experimenting with it. This one has quality quite close to Moon Valley, but one downside is that the server's generation speed is relatively slow. If time isn't a concern, you can give it a try. Morph Studio offers both image to video and text to video. So let's try both. To use the image to video feature, click animate and upload an image. There isn't much to set here. For text to video, click the slash video and type your text prompt. Again, there isn't much to configure. Wait and see the generated result. Okay, it has finally completed my animations. This one is the text to video example. 
And this one is image to video. Oh no. Maybe I had bad luck with this one. It's just a zoom in for the image. Let's compare it with Moon Valley text to video. Moon Valley offers more movement, camera motion, and smoother character animations. It's not the best, but I personally think Moon Valley is better than Morph Studio for their AI animation framework. Although Moon Valley doesn't support image to video at the moment. Once I generate a result I want, I can use the seed number to maintain a consistent style, and I believe that's more critical for AI animation videos. So, for me, Morph Studio is a no-go, and I would choose Moon Valley for text prompt type animation. If you're interested in creating image-to-video animations, Genmo.ai is the tool to go for. Their Discord server isn't for AI creation, it's for their community and educational content for using Genmo AI tools. They offer multiple AI features on their website. You can start playing around with it and get familiar. For instance, I tried to create a 3D French Bulldog just by using their chatbot purely for fun. Now let's focus on image or text prompt to animation. Basically, click on Genmode AI's main page and you'll find a text prompt area. For image to video, upload an image and you'll see suggested text prompts. You can add your own text, then hit enter to generate. I like this approach because they provide suggested prompts and additional prompts based on your image while the animation is generating. This is true AI, offering suggestions and generative results. You can also see the ongoing progress of the generation and how the character moves in the preview. Checking their pricing, it's $10 per month, which seems reasonable. The credits reset daily, and although I'm not sure how many credits it consumes for one creation, it should be enough for creating storytelling videos. All animations are complete, and that's another stable diffusion animate diff alternative I've found. So far, Genmo.ai and Moonvalley.ai excel at this type of animation. If you can't run stable diffusion animate diff on your computer for any reason, try these tools. I hope today's tips can help you. That's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.